In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google account. Uh, so we're going to start on Google.com. You can go to Google.com or click on the link down below in the description box. I'm going to have that for you as well. So we're going to click on this blue sign in button here uh, up at the top right hand corner of the screen. And what we can do here is it's giving us a sign in. So right now you don't have a sign in. So we're going to have to create one. So we're going to go down here to create account. And um, you want to select the one that applies to you. You can select for myself, for my child, or to manage my business. Uh, right now I'm going to do for myself. And you're going to want to input this information. Okay, so you can put in your username here, you put in your first and last name, then your username, and then what you'll need to do is put in your username, and then it's going to tell you whether it's taken or not. See, this one has been taken, so um, let me try that one. Okay, so I was able to get that one. So I'm going to just copy it to my clipboard. That way I know what it is so I don't forget it. And password, I'm just going to let um, Firefox do my password. And then you can click show password if you want. You can put in your own password here. If you do that, make sure that you confirm it. And click next. Now you can use your current email address instead if you want to do that. I normally don't do that. I just create the Gmail address as is and then click next and let's see don't update I'm not gonna update that okay so phone number here is optional um, this will uh, allow you to use this as a recovery phone number just in case you would happen to lose your password you would be able to use this phone number they would send text sec, send text messages to you and um, they would be able to uh, send you uh, verification codes that way. Um, recovery email address also is optional, and the reason for a recovery email address is in case you lose your password, you forgot your password, they will be able to send you codes to that recovery email address. Um, it's going to put your birthday here, so let's go ahead and put my I'm going to put my birthday here. Okay, and your gender. And why we ask for this information, you can click on that if you want. Now, sometimes when this pops up here, um, you, you will get something different instead. You will get a uh, verify phone number instead of what I just got. Uh, if that pops up, you will need to verify a phone number. You will need to do it either by phone call or by text message. So you will need to, to uh, put in your phone number in there and then it will send you a code to verify just basically verify that you're a human being so we're going to click next and you'll review the privacy and terms of service so go ahead and read over that if you want click more options if you want to do that just click agree right here and there we are and we have our google account created and we know we have our google account created because there is an s up here and if we hover over that, I see my name and I also see my email address. So if I click on that, I have that information pop up. I can, uh, I can do my profile if I want from here. I can manage my Google account. I can put in a, um, a profile picture if I want. I can add more accounts to this device if I want to do that, or I can sign out. Um, also, we do now have a Gmail address. So if, I, if you go to gmail.com, you now have a Gmail account. So um, you get an email from the Google community saying congratulations, finish setting up your Google account, and I'll show you how to do it. Also, it gives you tips and tricks on your Gmail account as well on different things that you can do with it. You can change the themes, you can change the colors. Um, you can change all the stuff over here on the left hand side of the screen, but that's for Gmails for another video. That's a whole nother video in itself. So I hope you found this video helpful on how to create a Google account, how to create a Gmail account. Um, if you did find this video helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up.
below. Also, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have a lot more things coming with Google and YouTube in the near future. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.